Hello everyone, this is Mahmood uh, from smarterball.com and I'm making a coding tutorial video. Here I'm making a blog site. So now, <coughs> here you can see that uh, if you click on the admin, this is a controller and if you click on it, uh, people can access it directly but we do not want that. We want it to uh, access we want it, uh, it to be accessible to only to those who can who have the password I mean only to the admins administrators so we have to make it <coughs> obviously this logout button does not work so now uh, let me see the first thing we need to do is go to application config auto load it. let's just check it if I have this started the form will be validation or not no I don't think I have started it so first well we need to uh, add some form our library is named as form validation this one well, you will know. You will la later see that why I added this auto load, uh, this library into the auto load. We are going to need it to validate uh, the form inputs. So now, helper URL file form validation session email database database. Email so if the <coughs> if the form validation is uh, incorrectly loaded, you will see an error here. But since there is no error, which means that we have included, I mean, auto loaded the. Uh, library I mean correct library so now let's just make a login page to and you, if you have followed me you you already know that we, we make URLs here with controller so here we're going to make a different controller for login which is going to be login controller and this login controller is going to be uh, going to be extended as extended extends to CI controller <coughs> CI controller CI controller and another thing is we are going to make a public function and it is going to be a default page for the controller index for now let's just equate it hello you see the controller is working now and uh, another thing we need to do is go to admin and create a constructor function if you don't know OOP then it, this much <coughs> seems a little bit uh, odd to you, but uh, this is how we are going to do. I mean, uh, you can add a constructor function on the class, so, yeah, and whatever you put on any kind of function, even if you put the index function, but it's the constructor function is going to be loaded very at the very fast. So, public function. No, if it's not, it's not such a suggesting so I need the suggestion because I don't know, remember exact the exact <coughs> so let's just go to the <coughs> project folder I mean I, we need to go to the project folder because I kind of forgot how to type the construct so 
and if you don't know where uh, to find the coordinate coordinate manual it's going to be there inside the I mean when, uh, whenever you ex uh, extract the coordinate framework you'll see that every uh, with every package there's going to be a manual and I have already extracted them and de separated them and put, put them here <coughs> so now I have opened it with Google Chrome but uh, I'm not going to uh, uh, continue because the time is up so bye for now and see you in the next tutorial bye <coughs>